Cincinnati police are investigating two separate homicides in Westwood. Both happened on Friday, just blocks from each other. Local 12's Brad Underwood spoke with the family of one of the victims and joins us live with an interview you will only see on Local 12 News. Brad. Well, Paula, Dewan Trotter was found shot to death just down the street from his home early Friday morning. His family tells me he had just gotten off the bus after finishing up from work when he was walking home and murdered. Holding hands with her husband, Michelle Higgins, walks down Worthington Avenue to where her son, Dwayne Trotter, was murdered. In the grass, a memorial sits for the latest homicide victim in Cincinnati. It's been hard, you know, just watching, you know, all this unfold and just trying to be here for my wife and family. Surrounded by family, Higgins says she doesn't understand why someone would do this to her son. Dewan never had problems with anybody. He would turn and go the other way. And Dwayne leaves behind a large group of family who are grieving and a seven-year-old daughter. Remembering the happier times, Will Higgins Jr. says he and Dewan always talked Bengals football. Ribbing each other about our teams and, you know, and he would text and Facebook us about it all the time. When we were winning he, and when they were up, you know, just different things about, you know, the game. Just so many things about Dewan was memorable. You know, he was a great kid. Hagen says her son didn't hang out in the streets, and right now none of her questions have answers. A lot of love for Dewan, and we just want to know who did this and why. Police have not released information on a suspect in Trotter's murder. Now the Hagen's family is still finalizing funeral arrangements as police search for Dewan's killer. Reporting live downtown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. All right, thank you, Brad. And just hours later, police found another homicide victim around the corner. Officers rushed to Percy Avenue at Gate Street at about 1130 last night. That's where they found this man, Jackie Perkins. Perkins was rushed to the hospital where he later died. It is unclear if the two shootings are related. No arrests have been made. If you have information on either homicide called Crime Stoppers, that number is 352-3040.